Alright, there we go. Turntus Grafii, alright. No Enamorous, okay, that's actually very good. Porygon Z, okay, so we brought... No, no Epowdon, okay. I am, I'm actually very happy about this. I am, I am very, very happy about this. This looks very good for the team. This looks very good. All right, let's go. We go turn one. Uh, we go in with that Groudon. Nothing he's got wants to go into Groudon. Wait, he's got no Mimikyu. I don't think he's got the... Yeah, no, he's got... Arcanine Graph, you turn. He doesn't have Mimikyu. My biggest worry is no longer in play. Yes. What I was looking for. This is what I was hoping for. You might think we go rocks. I'm going for Earthquake. If he goes Taunt, we take it down. If he goes, like, Baton or something like that to switch out, this is good. Nothing comes in well to Groudon. Nothing comes in well to this thing. That's why I was really hoping he didn't bring an Amorous and why I had to, yeah, had to be Slam. Because it's like, it's a default pick. Is he going Terra Flying? Okay. No defensive Terra on the... Good. Is Terra Flying? Terra Flying, smart call. Very smart call. Alright, that is entirely perfect. That is entirely perfect for me. I am entirely okay with this. Because now what it means is he's going to be either going in or out with something. He's either going to be going for a substitute or he's going to baton pass immediately. And if, if he brings in Eternatus, I can just hard switch into my, my uh... Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm assuming he's either going to go for... Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Again, we just go, we just keep clicking this. We just keep clicking this because he can only, he can only... Because what he's going to keep doing is he's going to keep going to this. He can't switch out. What he is going to do is he's going to keep he's going to keep switching in and out. He has to do that. And I know that a Haze actually does work behind sub. I know Haze. Yes. He probably thought I was going to switch. He was probably thinking a switch. Come on, bring in Eternatus. Bring in the Eternatus. He's got nothing that wants to come into this. The only thing is Araquanid. Like, Araquanid is the only thing he's got that wants to come into this thing. And even then, that gets rid of his entire setup. Cory Z! Okay. Duckabot 2.0. Not Duckabot 2.0. Alright. Rounds on core ended, alright. I am expecting some form of a solar beam. I am expecting a solar beam. So I am hard swapping. Ice beam, alright. All right. Thunderbolt, yep. All right. All right. I am very, very glad I have this. I am very glad I have this. I think I should be able to survive this. Can I tear on this? Poison, all right. So yeah, no need to go for that. Um, as we go Psychic. Terror Blast, alright. We should totally survive. Dang it! Okay. Well. Fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. 
Why the fuck did I just go? Why didn't I freaking just go for Zapdos? That was just faster than this freaking thing. I'm stupid. I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. Ice Beam. Freaking milled my entire team for no reason. I could have just gone Zapdos. This thing is meant to be faster than everything on the team. Why did I not just go Zapdos? I'm stupid. Unless this thing is faster than Zapdos? I don't think it's faster than Zapdos. It shouldn't be faster than Zapdos. Yeah, I, sh I should have just gone to Zapdos. I should have immediately gone to Zapdos. I after I got rid of the after the thing, I shouldn't have done that. I'm stupid. I should have just gone straight to Zapdos. Now I need to get everything rolling again. I should have gone straight into Zapdos. Yeah, I should I should have preserved Glow King. Let's go discharge. If we can go for a para, that's like Ooh, slow. Para, please? No, down in my hand. Alright. Slow Eternatus. Okay. Hurricane. Nope, mess. Okay. Okay. That takes me out here. That takes me out here. Okay. I feel like Gyarados should be able to survive this. She, she's got 72. Yes, she should be able to survive this. We've done just enough. We've done just enough. Dance. You've done just enough. We have done just enough. I mean, then again, he's bulky, so he's probably actually going to be able to survive an earthquake at plus one, unfortunately. But we have to try. Fair enough. Toxic, yeah, bulky toxic stall. He's really on that stall game. He's really on that stall game. Now, is he going to go for Protect on this? I feel like he's going to go Protect. Okay, he's withdrawing. Is he going Arcanine? Araquanid. Okay, good call. Good pick, a good pick, a good pick. Nope. I, I was like I was expecting like he's gonna go protect or he's gonna go something and he went for that so, okay this is good now we need to basically we need to we need to win this quick fast in a hurry we need to win this quick fast in a hurry this is why I went I wanted to go Terra uh, flying I couldn't because I needed it for the Grafii of course and now we just lose it here because it's gonna go for one yep yeah and then it's just taking out. Yeah, and then he's gonna knock me out next turn. Yeah, and then he's gonna knock me out next turn. Well, oh, good play is Draconic.
Yep, man, there's the Arcanine. Because then, then he's just going to go Will-O-Wisp and then a combination of Morning Sun. My, my only chance is if it somehow misses Will-O-Wisp. And even then, it's like, I still, I just lose. He's going to go into Refai Eye. And then he's going to go, yeah. Yeah, and then he's going to go Encore. Yeah, and then he's just going to go Encore. Oh, parting shot, okay. Yeah, should not have gone into that. Should not have gone. I should have gone Zapdos immediately. I can't believe Porygon took that thing out that fast. Freaking heck. I mean, I know it's plus four, but, like, that's max special defense. All right, so here we are for Draconic. Yeah, bit of bit bit of a team right here. We are not going with Terror Blast, Terra Flying Gyarados again. Yeah, this was uh the Grafia was a problem. Uh, I went with Terra Dark on the Gyarados because that way you can't get Prankstered, so no uh, no encore, no parting shot, no uh like a, 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 any you no know, taunt, so no no disruption forms you can go for there. Unfortunately, I do need Jolly for this Gyarados. I can't go Adamant, because I need to outrun that freaking Oh, uh, that, that, that freaking Eternatus. So, I had to outspeed the Eternatus, which I need Jolly Nature for. It will survive a plus one Jolly Max Attack Gyarados Earthquake, which is part of why I have Moxie. I also went Moxie as opposed to Intimidate because he's got Intimidate Arcanine, and I would like that steamrolling potential. Yeah, you know, plus, he's also got an Amorous, and I don't know if he's going to be bringing Contrary and Amorous, but I wouldn't want to accidentally proc that. Polytoad, Encore, Haze, Surf, Ice Beam, you know, it's, it's there for hitting some general things, clearing away any stat boost if he tries to boost up anything, maybe like a Sword of the Dance Mimikyu, or like a Porygon Z. Or if it has like a, a rack when it with Iron Defense. You know, ways of, ways of just getting rid of those stat boosts. Archaladon is, uh, Terra Ghost is a potential other play for Archaladon here, as opposed to if we don't go for the Terra Dark on the Gyarados, because Superpower and Amorous, I don't really want to deal with that. The, again, the Terra Ghost gives me an immunity to that, I can return with a Flash Cannon. I don't think he's going to be keeping it out against it, but hey, you know, maybe I go with a different Terra type for, for that, so I can, you know, get around maybe an Earth Power from... Uh, from Eternatus, maybe I, could, maybe I I was debating like Terra Fairy on it or something because that way I'm immune to Dynamax Cannon. Uh, but again, probably go Earth Power on it. Maybe I, I think Earth Power is probably a bit more likely, or maybe just go Shadow Ball. Don't really know. Glow King is gonna need to pull a lot of weight here. Uh, this is actually the first time in the this season I've actually rebalanced Glow King's stats. I went full in on Special Defense here and HP because. A lot of his threats are special. The big one is the, the Eternatus. Psychic will two-shot this thing. Uh, Psychic will two-shot the Eternatus. And, you know, slap off. I've got ways of, you know, mitigating the Eternatus. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the main thing. The only thing he's really got that actually threatens Glow King is that Mimikyu. To a degree, the Powdon, but, like, the Powdon is, is defensive in, in nature. It's not really offense, so it's not that bad. But, yeah, Mimikyu... He's the only one that can really threaten Glow King, unless he goes into, like, Terra Dark or Terra Ghost, so, or Terra Ground. So that's kind of good for our heroes. Uh, Gyarados, we've been over. Really, her main thing is just go in and get one D-Dance and just try to start sweeping things. I am somewhat expecting him to bring Arcanine and bring a defensive Terra Arcanine with Intimidate and Will-O-Wisp. I think he's going to be trying to go for that because that is kind of his one-stopper against Gyarados from just sweeping everything out. Groudon is a tricky here thing, because Eternatus, I checked this because I remembered Maridon got this, and I needed a double-triple check. Eternatus gets Solar Beam. Now, 
Solar Beam does not one-shot Groudon. Uh, my Groudon is maximum special defense uh, with adamant nature max attack, so it should take out Eternatus in one hit with Earthquake. But that doesn't change that Eternatus can return fire with a Solar Beam and it would do a heck of a lot of damage. So that is that is a, that is a thing to keep in mind. And... I mean, that's kind of the good thing about having the Drizzle access on my team, is I can just switch from, okay, he's got Eterni he's got uh, Eternatus out in the field, I can, you know, hot switch into Politoed, set up Drizzle, lock him in to Solar Beam, because also, if Solar Beam is used in the rain, in the sand, or in the hail, or snow, it has half power and it requires the two turns of charging, so I can just, you know, hot swap and change that, lock him into that, favorably switch into Glow King, you know, switch some things around and then block him into things and then, you know, return fire. So it's 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 things. It's it's got stuff of things. Or, you know, go into Zapdos and Zapdos, you know, try and get it with Discharge or Hurricane or something like that. And then last up is Zapdos. Uh, I'm a big fan of Zapdos. Weather Ball is there for shenanigans. I may switch out the Weather Ball for a different move. I don't really know what I would do in place of that, but yeah, it's it's there for tack, it's there for pivoting around, discharge for spreading paras, hurricane for some good damage in the rain. Again, Araquan it's kind of a bit of a worry spot for me, purely down to Araquan it is freaking bulky as crap. I don't think Araquan it's coming, but it is just a generally annoying Pokemon. Paladin can kind of stonewall me. I need to go for those hurricanes. Fairly certain Sandstorm doesn't impact Hurricane's accuracy. It's only Sun that does that. But that's where the U-turn is, just pivot out immediately. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's, it's going to be a heckin' fight. It is it is going to be a heckin' fight against Draconic. And week six of the EBL, we've actually got Sly Guy. So three people who have defeated me in the EBL all in one season. It's going to be a heck of a farewell tour.